like to refer to the fourth industrial revolution as the data revolution. We are generating a lot of data today, but very little of it is actually used. This data revolution is about really enabling that new insight, new insight that will transform our cities, transform our healthcare, and that new insight will create tremendous value. That will take the form of economic value, obviously, but more importantly, I think, will increase the quality of the lives of millions of people. So as we look at our cell phones and we used to be content with eight gigabytes of memory on, on our new phones, and uh, you know, that needs to be much higher in the future. Uh, that requires new materials. It also requires that those materials be at extremely high purities because even the smallest contamination at those very small geometries can cause the circuit to fail. So one of the key challenges as we go towards the fourth industrial revolution is, is the continued need to shrink the geometries. So the fourth industrial revolution will create significant opportunities for the semiconductor industry and the related ecosystem which Integris is part of. Um, the reason will be that more chips and better chips will be required. In my opinion, the revolution is about extracting new intelligence and ultimately creating new value out of data. So Moore's Law actually describes the observation that, that chip performance and chip density has doubled uh, every two years. And the need for purification really comes about because the innovations that have been enabling Moore's Law up until now have added tremendous process complexity to the manufacturing process. This means that process yield is absolutely critical and so our customers demand higher quality and higher purity materials in order to have any chance of meeting their process yield goals. It's important to note that in semiconductor processing, uh, feature sizes in semiconductor chips have gotten very small, are about the same size of a strand of DNA. Uh, given that you have these very small features, you can tolerate only small particles of that size, size of DNA. Our filters and purifiers use a combination of chemical as well as mechanical techniques to eliminate that contamination down to very, very uh, small concentrations. Moore's Law is really a story about miniaturization. It's about creating smaller circuits so that you can pack more transistors and faster transistors onto a piece of silicon the size of your thumbnail. Historically, th that process has been enabled um, through um, advancements in optical lithography, but uh, it, optical lithography has begun to run into fundamental limits. So semiconductor microprocessors, as well as the memory that stores all of the data, require very advanced processes, uh, very small feature sizes, and increasingly they're using three-dimensional structures where you have chips that are manufactured with hundreds of process layers. If one of those layers was to have a defect in it, you could have a situation where the chip would, would fail catastrophically. If you begin to consider that the most advanced technology in manufacturing today creates features that are 10 nanometers in size. That's 1 20th the wavelength of the light that's used to define them. So very quickly you realize that very complex processes are required to produce these very advanced chips, and this is an area that's ripe for innovation. With the latest generation of memory, we call vertical NAN, which is a non-volatile memory, actually you have stacking of the memory cells. So you can think about the difference between a, a parking lot versus a parking garage. So you can get a lot more uh, cars in a parking garage when you go up multiple stories than you can in a parking lot, which is flat. And that's enabling the industry to go that, that next level of, of density. We at Integris really operate at the crossroad of materials and purity, both of which will be very important for the technology roadmap of, of this industry. Um, if you think about uh, the new chip architectures I was referring to, uh, you need to be very, very concerned about the quality of the materials, the purity of your materials, the stability of your materials, from the moment they are manufactured all the way to the moment you actually deposit them on the wafer. Um, and, and that actually provides very significant uh, opportunities for Integris 
with the very unique solution set that we've been able to develop for our customers.